everyone, we are outside of Cape May Cafe. We are just about to go in and eat all the crab legs. I'm going to do this vlog a little differently. I'm going to take a lot of pictures. I will have some video of like the overall setup of the place, but I really want to enjoy the meal. I want to eat every crab leg in sight and all the seafood I can. There's going to be more pictures and I'm going to come back afterwards and give you my kind of voiceover review. So look forward to that and definitely let me know if you like this format or not. So we have checked in and we are just waiting to sit down and eat and stay tuned for pictures and an overall review of Cape May Cafe. So as we look at the sign for Cape May Cafe, before we head on inside the restaurant and take a look around, I wanted to check out what the real Cape May in New Jersey looked like. And let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to Cape May in New Jersey. Uh, it looks quite beautiful from these pictures on the capemay.com website. And what really took me was their, these, this is from their Instagram account, I believe. And this picture right here of the kind of classic Victorian style architecture that you'll notice when you go into Cape May, the restaurant. So here we are at the entrance to Cape May Cafe, checking out the menu. As you can see, they do have a pretty wide selection of food to choose from. Definitely the star of the show are those crab legs. And I will say the one regret I have about eating at Cape May Cafe was my um, distraction by those crab legs. You'll see how many I did end up eating, and I mean, it's a testament to how good they were, but at the same time, I probably won't have as much feedback on some of the other food here that there is to enjoy. The first thing you will notice upon walking into Cape May Cafe is the carpeting. The carpeting just looks like, lack of a better word, a drone is flying over a very crowded beach full of these colorful fun beach umbrellas and it really just sets the tone for the kind of mood that cape may cafe is gonna get you into moving from the carpet up to the walls many of which have a photographic quality to them all capturing families and kids playing in the sand playing on the beach and these just gorgeous outfits that i assuming are just traditional beach wear for that era as you know you're kind of digging into your meal it's almost kind of like you're having a beach picnic with all these people surrounding you presumably visiting the real cape may that we talked about earlier I was transfixed by these sandcastles that are inside of the display cases. And while I know it would break the theming, man, how cool would it be to have a Cinderella castle sandcastle in Cape May Cafe? Now, while the decorations are nice, you're probably going to Cape May for the food. So let's get to the food. Let's take a walk around the buffet and I will provide some commentary as we go. Now, starting off here with the soups, so you have a clam chowder there. And I believe the other one was some sort of squash soup, maybe a butternut squash. I actually didn't make it over to the side of the buffet until I was on my way to the desserts, but you can see there's some peel and eat shrimp, some sort of seafood pasta salad there, Caesar salad, and some fruit. As we're going down this side of the buffet, I did kind of want to touch on the layout of this buffet. It is a little awkward. It's basically like a square in the middle of the restaurant but there's walls like around it. So when people are trying to get their food, you know, get around you, you kind of have to do a little dance, scoot to this side, get to that side. It is probably my least favorite thing about Cape May was the layout of this buffet. It can be very cramped and we went at a later time. So I imagine at a peak time, a peak dinner time, that buffet is going to get very, very hectic. Kind of a tale of two crab legs here. This is the beautiful look you want, that full pan of crab legs. At the same time, sometimes it does look like this. Sometimes the pan's going to be empty and, you know, it's time to try a soup or a salad or something like that. So you kind of just have to, well, 
At least that was my strategy. I planned my meal around the quantity of crab legs. I did enjoy the selection of cheeses that they had here. Really good cheese. And I tried a lot of the different, you know, it was crab cakes there, clam strips, chicken nuggets, pasta salad, bean salad. I tried a lot on that stretch right there. All right, on to plate number one. Now, all the plates will have the common denominator of crab legs, which were just excellent. And by the way, any restaurant that has just a vat of butter for said crab legs is my kind of place. <laughs> now, my first plate here, I have the rosemary bread. That is the bread that has the butter on it. I really, really liked that. It was a soft bread, very herby, very rosemary taste to it. The cornbread, however, which is that other bread on the plate, not my favorite. It was kind of dry and something, honestly, I would just skip. So this is the plate that actually has the most variety on it. So again, warning, it was one of my regrets that all I ate was crab legs at Cape May. But um, this vegetable salad that is on the plate was actually one of my favorite things. It was, called the, it was actually called the Garden Melody Pasta. It had red and green peppers, mushrooms, zucchini, asparagus, a lot of great tasting and prepared vegetables in that salad. Although I think my body was just like thanking me for ingesting something green that wasn't butter. Uh, but right next to it were the clam strips, which were mm, nothing to write home about. I don't even think I finished them. And I, I love clam strips, but those were just nothing special. The seafood cake with citrus sauce was good. I mean, I didn't get another one and those were small so I probably could have eaten a bunch of those. Again, nothing on this plate was really that great. The surprise hit was that Garden Melody pasta. I told you earlier in the video that I based my other item selections based on how many crab legs were in the pan. So you can guess from this picture that the crab legs were running a little low so I ran to the soup tried one of my favorite soups clam chowder this one however i really did not like very much it wasn't very creamy like i usually like my clam chowders to be and i tasted like a ton of carrot in it like carrot was like the dominant flavor so i mean this would have been a hit if it was called carrot chowder but it wasn't and i didn't get another bowl i am ashamed to say that I just ate crab legs the rest of the night. But we are getting to dessert, so don't leave yet if you want to see the desserts. Uh, here's just uh, another plate of crab legs. But I will say that, judging on this next clip, I am not the only one who is a huge fan of these crab legs at Cape May Cafe. I just have to point out on this wall all the little pieces of crab that have seemingly been flung out of. Uh, eating like a mad person. I, I can relate to this. In fact, some of those would be my pieces. Those weren't here before we sat down. <laughs> All right, on to dessert. Now, I will say I am not normally that big of a dessert fan, but the desserts at Cape May Cafe, at least the ones I tried, and I didn't try that many, were wonderful. Um, I actually don't think I tried anything that you're seeing right now, a bunch of cookies, cupcakes type of things. Uh, I can see bread pudding here. I did try one of these. Uh, now Bryce said that key lime pie wasn't that good, so I opted not to try it. However, I do have some comments, some very strong comments about one of these desserts. And those comments are about that Oreo bonbon at the bottom of your screen there. Oh man, that thing was so good. It was just, it was an Oreo cookie at the base with what I assume has to be something similar to the gray stuff, which is served at the Beast Castle in Magic Kingdom. I've never tried that, but I've heard descriptions about it. And it's supposedly like a creamy, Oreo, moussey kind of concoction. It was that type of material covered in the chocolate coating you see. And I had to get two of them. And if I wasn't so full up on crab legs, I would have gotten more because that dessert, I've talked about it several times 
since visiting Cape May Cafe. It was so, so, so good. Uh, the other two desserts, the worms and dirt, just your traditional, I love that dessert. I've loved it since I was a kid. I still love it. And it was good here, but you know, nothing special. The other dessert was called like Boston mousse or Boston cream pie or something. Very, very tart, that berry layer in that dessert, very, very tart. But once you kind of, your palate gets used to it, really good. And I, I loved all the desserts on that plate. Thank you. 